Alright, I think this is our next, like, big boss fight, too, so. Yeah. A giant emerald crystal, huh? I wonder if it's one of those crystals. <laughs> Pretty sure it is. You here looking for the emerald, too? <gasps> oh, it's not this one. It's where you fight, uh... Well, actually, I mean, it's not the one I was thinking of, but it is a boss fight. Uh, the Academy pulls out, and before the echoes even fade, wham, in come the clans like a pack of hyenas. Who are you? I am Babis, personal mage to His Highness Prince Mute, and I am here surveying this land on his direct request. Mute's personal mage. Prince has informed me that there is someone who means him in means him ill. Do you know you anything of this? If you do, tell me at once. Who, me? I, I don't know anything, sir. I had no idea you wanted this world to exist. I have? What was that you just said? I didn't know Mute wanted the world to change like this. Yeah, I didn't know he wanted his kingdom to stay stable and him for for him to remain in charge. No, I, I, I was a I didn't know that destabilizing his country and like his entire dream reality would upset him. How was I supposed to know? Come on. Wait a minute. Perhaps it's you whose highness spoke of. I do love the uh, concept of being pulled into a video game as a movie. Yeah. If I did one, I'd call it Puffy Pez as well. <laughs> if you had to jump into a game series, um, which one would you choose? Like, which setting would you choose? Pokemon? Interesting. 100%? I'm trying to think. I... See, I feel like Pokemon, I'd make one mistake and then just get, like, obliterated by... them. Oh, now I have to think about it. I have to think about the answer to my own question. Because I feel like if I just jumped in into any game series as I am. You just wake up at the Poké Center though, no work. I I guess yeah, if we're following the same if we're following the same rules that are set in the world. Yeah, I guess you got a point. Yeah, then I choose a game that you don't ever people don't die in. You just kind of get like knocked out. Uh, you know? They tax the hell out of it. <laughs> yeah, fair. The government would keep the legendaries for themselves. Yeah. <laughs> to be honest, though, there it's not even that the government would keep the legendaries for themselves. It would be like a resource war over the legendaries like it would be honestly it, would, it wouldn't be too far off from like the what is it the final fantasy is it final fantasy like 16 or the most recent one where they had the different nations that all had like the one or two like espers and they would be like their main combat force and there would be like entire wars fought over these like powerful creatures um because then you have the war strength and everything like that, right? So, yeah, it would be a nightmare. It sounded complicated. <laughs> I didn't play it either. I just saw, like, uh, gameplay of it. But that's the concept I got from it. Um, back the way it was. Oh, I'm being attacked. I love that they separate you so far from the rest of your group in this. Um... Anyway, so this is Mute's little army. Uh, but fun fact, Babis has a unique class. He's one of those unique people. Uh, so he's a rune seeker, royal mages, trained in all forms of magic. Um, 
So he has Explode, Stillness, which is basically Stop, Quarter, which halves your quarters your health, um, and in the beginning of the game, you know how like the bullies were picking on Mute and talking about the teddy bear that like uh, his mom gave him and like his dead mom gave him and everything like that. So Babis is the incarnation of that teddy bear. He's there to always be by Mute's side and protect him and someone that's deeply loyal to Mute and the Queen because the Queen gave the teddy bear, aka Babis, to Mute. Yeah. You never got that? Yeah! So yeah, Babis is Mute's teddy bear. Um, and when you do at the ending... Um, you never complete this game? Yeah. It's it's part of one of the... the it's like post-game content kind of deal. Um, because you actually end up giving... Um, Babis, the you end up giving him Mute's teddy bear and everything like that, um, because he that that like connection to the world is still in this one, and Babis. That's how you actually get Babis to join your team in the post game, um, is by doing the quest that then gives him Mute's teddy bear. But yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, I love this game. I know too much about it. <laughs> anyway, let's go beat up a teddy bear. All I have to do is defeat the boss? Easy. Easy. Watch this. Never mind, I can't reach him. Watch it next turn. I do wish Aldina was faster, but she's fine the way she is. Um, let's just get everyone to... Let's just get them all doing things, give them experience, passively level them up. Hey, Babis. Screw you. Oh, fuck. Never mind. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he has dialogue. Um, once it's on his turn, he'll, like, stop and then say something uh, to Waffles, but... You could actually just knock him out before he gets a chance to say anything. I don't know if I'll be able to, but I'll try. Uh, 55% chance. I don't have the MP currently to double cast uh, my spells, unfortunately. Oh, that heals him. Shit. That heals him. What does Thunder do? Thunder hurts him. So maybe just do double Thunder. Okay. Are we going to take him out before he gets a chance to talk? Did I? Or is he just down? You said you wanted to go to the world. The world go back to the way it was. What did you mean? Ivalice isn't a desert, it's a snowy country town. Everything went crazy, this isn't the real world, this is Mute's fantasy world, it's like a game. Ha! The only thing that's crazy around here is you, my boy. But it's true! So this world is a figment of Prince Mute's imagination. Oh? No, you're good, you're good. We're allowed to say snowy cunt on this channel. <laughs> yeah, snowy country tree. Uh, so this world's a print, figment of Prince Mute's imagination. Nonsense, I've served the prince for years. 
I'm telling you, Mute's not a prince, he's just a boy. How dare you call the prince an ordinary commoner. He's but a boy. Also, Babis, you're on fucking death's door, my boy. What are you doing? You're deciding to use quarter on the archer. Okay, bold move. You, you missed, though. You missed. Alright, Mont Blank. Show him who's the better person here. Wait, what's the fucking... What's the law before I break it? No using fire. Well, it's a good thing I didn't use a free originally. Uh, I would have gotten a card for that. Alright, I'll, I'll, I'll hit uh, Aldina as well. Oh, I didn't even notice that one. <laughs> Country. <laughs> ignore that one. Sure, I'll ignore that one. Grr, caught me off. Gr caught me off my guard. You did. I'll be back. Okay. Whatever the reason, the prince wants you dealt with. You cause him pain, and that's real enough for me. Hmm. Now I know what you look like. There will be no escape. Just teleports out. Mute, I'm sorry, but I have to do something. Also, the rest of you guys just go home, I guess. Air under, beat down, poison. Cool. Three of our guys. Uh oh, we got our first cave. Oh fuck, where do I put the caves? Um shit. I used to have a place for everything. Uh... Cave, go here. There you go. Alright. <laughs> uh, Not you. Who's you? Didn't I grab you? Oh, I forgot to. That's it. There we go. Asta. You learned something. Learn bullets. Waffles, you learned air render. Cool. Go learn rush. Never mind, you already know rush. Uh, go learn beat down. Yeah. You're still. How are you still on your mission? What was your mission? Oh, the mission was enemies three. Right. I only killed one, so he's not coming back yet. That's funny. Alright, we have to help these places before I forget about them. Giza Plains is also one that I have to help. But first, treasure hunt. We gotta keep our turf, man. Spiked boots? Okay. It's the same four assholes from before. And I didn't look at the law. Frog and seal. Steel, not seal. Okay. That's fine. Uh, honestly, Aldina, you've had too much light. time in the land light. Uh, we're gonna do Mont Blanc, Tolly. Uh, Monied and Pete. And Monied, move over here so you're not far away. There you go. Sorry if this is loud. Sorry. Yes, shoot the one person with block arrows. I love it. Uh, 
makes total sense. What am I not supposed to do again? Don't turn people into frogs, right? Got it. Easy. 48 damage or air render, it's 58 damage. Well, if I know anything about what number is bigger than the other. And I'm pretty sure I do. These guys are level 12, 14, 13. 12. All right. Use swarm strike on her. Block arrows, fuck. What about you? You don't have block arrows. Good. Uh damage and poison. Yeah, let's do it. And I don't have to worry about the arrows cuz there's no actual projectile with this. Immobilize? No. Boo. Boo. Miss, 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 miss. Yeah. Get fucked. Uh. CG skill. Try to get rid of the white mage as fast as possible. Damage and steal? You're not supposed to steal. That's literally against the law. He's breaking the law. Ah, oh, I call bullshit. I call bullshit. Where's my literal fucking judge? Speaking of fun facts about the law doesn't apply to them, apparently, yeah. Um, it's because he's white. <laughs> uh, no. um, but speaking about fun facts about this game uh, that maybe some people don't know. Um, so later on in this game, you can there are areas that uh, are like the lawless lands. Where if your character does go down and you don't revive them by the end of the mission, they die. They will actually like die die um so obviously your main character dying is bad and you'll get a game over so you know don't do that but mont blank you can let him die you can actually let mont blank die and it's an incredibly like dramatic scene that happens uh when he dies and then you like you can Actually, I believe you can recruit his brother because he died. Mont Blanc can die. Yeah, he can actually die. If you if you knock him out in the Lawless Lands and then you don't revive him, it'll be a very dramatic thing where you, your guy's like, no, and then Mont Blanc's like, fuck, and then he dies. Um, and then you go to his brother and you're basically like, oopsie poopsie, I let your brother die. Um... And I think the brother can join you. I'm not 100% on that one, but uh, but yeah, I, I remember accidentally letting Mont Blanc die uh, when I was a kid, and I was like, I I thought he was integral to the story, and not not enough to be, you know? Can you kill the brother? Can you let the brother die too? <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I think also if you like, because you get some special characters later on. Um, again, post game, but I, I don't know what happens if you just let them die. Um, 
<laughs> I'm sure there's a big sad monologue to go along with it too. Because every character has... Every party member has something to say. If you don't revive them before they die, they'll always just be like... Like, it was an honor, and then die, you know? But, um... Yeah, I haven't, I haven't tried killing... Such a weird way of phrasing it. I haven't had tried letting my... The special characters die. Um... Which now thinking about it, I absolutely should. I should get to post game, recruit Babis, and then kill Babis just to, and then just teabag on his body just to really, you know, put mute in his place. Thank you for moving the corpse, Judge. Thank you. It was getting in the way. I appreciate that. Actually makes it more annoying. You actually put it more in my way than it was before. Damn. I was hoping I could get both of them. Uh, who's about to go? Is he about to go? He is. Nice. Get fucked. All right, my blank. Yeah, when we get to that part, I might showcase what it looks like if it if it happens. I might just like do a save, get into a fight in the law in the like uh, lawless land, and then just let Mont Blanc die and and see what it looks like. Because I haven't done it in a very long time. Like again, I accidentally did it when I was a kid. Um, so, when we get to that point, I might just uh, create a little special save file. See what it looks like. <laughs> Sweet. Help Lucia was over too quickly. Good. Learn some shit. Oh, Weenie's back from Eisenfield, learn Moglands, good, good for you. Alright, Eisenfield clear. We still have to fucking help Giza. Anything else that wants to be under attack while we're helping Giza? No? Okay. Uh, I wonder what's gonna happen when I stop by at the, at a town though. Motherfucker. I swear to- I was joking. I was joking. Not supposed to call me on my bluff. Alright, any new rumors? No? Pale Company... Oh, that's the one. Okay. Uh... Ooh, we got some more dispatches. Okay, here of your another reserve mission. Interesting. Um, could be me one of those fruits loved by Ponta, hero of many ballows. They grow in the wilds of Zod. Seven days, another twenty-one thousand. You get vermilion. I I'm so curious about these. All right, Aldina, I'll send you because it's like sixty, right? Yeah. It's, um. Sauce recipe, another one. Another seven days, you get Elda Gusto. Okay. Uh, only good sauces that go with a meat dish. Uh, everyone can do it, eh? Yeah, like even people. Oh, interesting. I want to make sure she actually has something to kind of I can send her on something else you don't have anything right I'll send Pete 
Go get him, Pete. Um, what else? Rubber or real? My favorite toy is the Champion of Justice. My friend Amigo says it's just a rubber monster. Who's right? Young boy. Five days for a bombshell. We need a monster guide. Do we have a monster guide? I do have a monster guide. Fuck yeah. Um. Also, wait. How much does this pay? 52. How does fucking young boy have five grand on him? Holy shit. Anyway, it has a bombshell, which is what we need for, like, two different quests, so that's great. Life work. Needed potion advice. Making the ultimate love potion is my life work and I'll be rich and famous. And it needs an alchemist. I literally just sent my fucking alchemist. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um, it's good. Good stuff. We're looking for a few good neighbors. Won't you join our worldwide network? Huel neighbor network. Five days you get a neighbor pin. Okay. Itali, surely you can do that, right? I, you're gonna do it. You're gonna do it, Itali. I don't care if you're just walking back and forth. You're gonna do it. Okay. Life work. Right. Pirates ahoy. We have reports that a large pirate band will be passing through our waters soon. You need good steel and young muscles. Two battles. Coast metal. Okay. Baldwin! Go do that. I don't have anything to do for you, Baldwin. So go do that. Um, Golden Gill? I want you to research the origin of the Golden Gill in my shop. It's really from the Age of Kings. Should be good for sale. Ancient coins, that's all we need to do. Jeez. Right, probably gonna send out Lini, but I need to give him a new weapon. Yeah. That's so annoying that I sent out my fucking alchemist right before he was needed. Uh let's do that. It's mock attack. Lini, go do it. Alright, anything else that's new? Come on out, that's jerky, spirited boys, dictionary, food for truth, valuable fake, you are mortal, honor lost, just a bombshell, road a volcano, uh, this is just freeing it. It's been active lately, so needs to go to the road at the base and Clean off the chunks of lava. Okay. Someone just go scrape the, the fucking lava. Uh, Goodwin. Go scrape up lava. Any new rumors? I think I said no, right? Yeah. No. Alright. Uh... Do you okay, Cat? She's sleeping. You. All right, we just need to walk around for like seven days, and then we'll get some people back. We need to walk around for seven. Oh my god. Okay. You gotta like fucking actively dodge people. The more places you get. All right, rubber or real? It was a success. Good. Ooh, thief armlets. That's pretty good. New unit seeks membership. Hi, Nicole. Goodbye, Nicole. Sorry, Nicole. <laughs> Left crying. Alright. How did you fail? How fucking hate you so much, Tali. And there's someone ready to ambush me. Oh my gosh. Okay, Aldina did her thing. Good job, Aldina. New unit. Sorry. Nope. Okay, well, hey, you know what? Cirrus, join us. Why not? Uh, okay. Uh, like, 21 grand. We just got, like, El Cid sword. Oh, shit. 
new clan. Sure. I'll let them join and then I'll kick them out after. They usually tend to say nicer things to me once I, when I do it that way. Oh my fucking god, I forgot about Giza Plains. Fuck. Uh... <laughs> potion advice. Sound out, Monied. He's my potion boy. My rotten soldier. Look how long is tactics advance, anyways? That's a great question. Um, if you just like focus just on the story, I'm sure you could complete it within like twenty to thirty hours. But I like fucking around and doing completionist, so um, I'd say this is probably going to be like this is Wolf's gems. <laughs> no, that's fine. Uh, I'd say this run's probably going to take me like probably eighty hours. If I'm trying to do like everything, like everything, eighty hours, including the stuff that I do off camera, because I do do a little grinding and stuff off camera. If I ever need like a specific class for a dispatch mission or anything like that, or I just want people to learn some cool skills, I don't do that here. Um, I'll do that off camera. I try to stick to like actually doing missions on camera and boring stuff off. But currently we're at like just shy of 25 hours and I'd say we're about halfway through it-ish. So, that gives you any indication. Um, Alright, I know Nubswood was under attack. Anything else under attack that I forgot about? No. Okay. It does? Yeah, no problem. I'm glad to help. Alright. Uh, do I just have people that I need to walk around still? Ten more days, two more days, two more battles, fifteen, okay. Oh, we're now Squire IHOP, let's fucking go. We're Squires now. Alright, let's help Nubs. I just want to point out something. I fucking hate these ones. These purple ones. The fucking blade biters. They will actually destroy your weapon. They will actually destroy your weapon. So fucking rude and annoying. Especially when you have like rare weapons or just like one ofs of items and then they break it and then you don't even get to learn that skill because your guy's not equipping that item anymore. It's the worst feeling in the world. And it's happened to me already when I went to save Nubs earlier. And it just felt bad. But it's even worse when you're in late game and you only get like one of the like legendary weapons or shit like that. Who the fuck's Jareth? Oh, these are the people I need to let go. Oh well. Um. Oh, what am I doing? I need magic people. I'm going up against a bunch of fucking rock turtles. Okay, you go over here. And you two go over here where the one not magic guy is. Uh, okay. What do I have to not do? Don't do time magic. Uh, don't turn things into frogs. Got it. Forty-four damage, or air render fifty-four damage, or 
Beat down, 88 damage, but only 36%. We'll do the, oh, we'll do the air render. Or we'll do nothing. Just gonna hit my guy. That's fine, he has counter. Oh, and I missed too. Nice. There we go. Ah. Okay. Alright. Hit him in the back of the head. 64 damage. Uh, if we air render, what is it? Nope, not him. 65 damage if we air render. Ooh. Or we could beat down 128. I, I, I'm gonna do it just to see if I can. I wanted to see big number. That's nah, fine. <laughs> I can't resist big number. Okay. Uh, let's do double cast. Three. So, again, super cool about this is that it has such a massive range that I could do it here, and it's gonna hit both of them. Let's go. Um, and then we'll do Blizzard. We'll just do Blizzard on this guy, because I hate him more. Oh. Uh, sorry, just give me one second. Someone's just calling me. Oh. Sorry about that. <laughs> Um, I got a phone call I can't ignore. <laughs> um, right. I wish my Wi-Fi had a massive range. It's okay, I take calls all the time. Yeah. Oh, nice. So we like to see Mont Blank. Camoose. You never noticed. <laughs> I was like, what? No. Okay. That's fine. I'm perfectly fine with that because one it gives me experience and two they have scarier skills like if he did the one that flips my character's hp and mp uh it would have been a lot worse hi meep how's it going meep how's your day been for the backswing kill. Um, let's just go for the kill. Nice. Alright, Aldina... Do you have the magic to kill him? Yes, you do. Only one shot, though. That's fine. The more you level up, the more scary you'll become.
<laughs> He's literally at two. There you go. Oh, well, Mop Link's actually putting in work in this one. Alright. Uh, let's start the very slow process of getting this guy close to death. Uh, what about if I air render? How much is it? Air render? 15. Alright. I think the I think the move here is just do beat down. He's slow enough that it's still almost 50%. Yeah. <laughs> Steven Ben. Jeez. Meep, my arm is so fucking itchy because of my tattoo. And I can't itch it, but I want to itch it. But I know I can't, but I want to. I got a tattoo of uh, Magnemites. Um, yeah, I'll show it off on stream. Still a little rough, but yeah. I got a regular Magnemite and a shiny Magnemite tattooed. I got it just this uh, past weekend, so it's still yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm I was really happy with it. Um, and you know, Magnemite's my favorite Pokemon, so it's just nice to have. It now be a part of me. <laughs> um, but yeah, but it's uh, it's in the healing process, so it's uh, very itchy, and uh, you know, I try to keep it nice and moisturized as much as I can. But um, I want to scratch my arm. I'm not going to, but I want to, and I have to let everybody know about it. Magnemite doesn't get enough love? I mean, they got enough love. Yeah, the eye on the shiny, yeah. It's just so happy to be a shiny. <laughs> um, it's hard to see also on camera, but there is a little... I'll try to see if I can showcase it. Um, there's a little, like, electric, like, between them, and it forms a little, a little heart, too. So there's a little, like, heart made out of electricity between the two Magnemites. They're both just having a good time. Um, uh, but yeah, Magnemite got a little bit extra love in Scarlet and Violet with the like primitive version of uh, Magneton, um, which I Sandy Shocks or whatever. I, I I I just love that, like a punk rock Magnemite, so cute. Um. But yeah. Now, I have a hot take. I love Magnemite. I love Magneton as well. A little bit less than Magnemite, but I hate Magnezone. I can't stand it. I, I do not enjoy Magnezone whatsoever. Sandy Shocks, fantastic, because it actually looks like a Magnemite. Um... But can't stand Magnezone whatsoever. It just... It doesn't look like a Magnemite. They made him into a fucking cop as well. Like, he's like he's basically the cop Pokemon in like every Pokemon iteration now. And it's just like, why, why'd you gotta do that to my boy? Why'd you gotta do that? So, no. This is a... This is a... Magnazone hating channel. <laughs> Magnazone de appreciation post. Alright, we saved Nubswood. That one didn't even give us any items. It was just like, here's your fucking AP. Oh, fuck, fuck's sake. You guys, leave my clan. It was nice meeting you, Waffles. See you around. Bye, Jareth. Cirrus, you get out of here, too. Righto. Hope to hang out with you again sometimes. No problem, man. And Sandath, I picked you up, but I regret it. 
I see no need to remain where I'm not wanted. <laughs> well, it's better than them leaving saying they were crying, so, you know, take the win. Um... I feel like as soon as I move, this fucking guy is gonna move to where I'm going. I'm just gonna walk back and forth until... okay. Just wanna go back to town. Actually, do I wanna go back to town? No, I still have people on dispatch, I just wanna walk around. Nothing else is on fire, right? No, thank god, okay. I should say nothing else is on fire right now. There we go. Alright. Another new unit. Sabatini? Sure. I'll add them just to then release them so that way they have parting messages for us and it's not just like they're leaving crying. Tell the truth, I never liked you much anyway. <laughs> Alright, well. Hey, you know what? Fair. I did say, yeah, welcome to the team, just to be like, nah, 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 mind it, I lied. Kind of an ass. Uh, Twin Swords, Royal Ruins. Um, some ruins in Nagai Cave. Oh, that the Golden Gill was still in currency. What if there's some left? Oh, cool. So that's a mission that came from the Golden Gill one. Nice. Um, we bring the Golden Gill, what happens? I'm gonna do it. Ancient coins. Uh, it's only available for 25 days, that's fine. Cheap laughs, this is what we get the bombshell for, right? Oh, and this is what gives you the Tonberry lamp, oh, okay. Um, I just want to see what the other thing that was needed for the bombshell, because then... Yeah, now we have Lost Heirloom. Oh wait, we don't have the fucking neighbor pin, because they failed it. Like assholes. Dictionary, Turkey, Fashion World. Alright, we're gonna do cheap laughs. Uh, five days. Are you able to do it? Are you actually able to do it, though? Don't fuck this up, please. We need that Tonberry lamp. Road of Volcano. Someone go scrape off lava, please. Lini. Go scrape off lava. So it's more than five days away, so by the time we get there, she should come back. Oh, right, Moni was off on life work. Right, forgot about that. Ooh, a black robe. That's actually really good. Um, Because that gives the ability... Yeah, return magic. That's an insane reaction ability. So basically anytime they get hit with magic, they'll return it. Even if they don't have the ability to cast that magic, they will return the magic. Um, so it's insanely good. I try to put it on all my black mages. Um, so I'll probably end up giving it to Monid. I'll definitely give it to Montblanc. Um, it's better than block arrows, so... Although you're still working through being a time mage for now. Yeah. Alright. For now I'll leave you, but definitely something you'll see me put on later. Um, Alright. I'm going to take a little break here. Uh, ooh, it's almost seven. Uh, Axie, why don't you start your stream? Just, just curious.
Because I might, uh, might end up calling it some sometime soon, so if I do, I'll probably try to do our little raid. Um, yeah, we'll see. Anyway, either way, I'm going to get up and stretch, so uh, I will be right back. <laughs> 